today we will discuss about computer vision syndrome uh, the it boom and the consequent increase in the uh, use of computers at the workplace has brought forth so many health concerns and computer vision syndrome is currently the most common of these so we'll see what is computer vision syndrome uh, the complex of eye and vision problems related to near work which is experienced by the computer users is known as computer vision syndrome but currently with the advent of mobile phones and uh, tabs especially the overuse of these by children uh, this syndrome is now not just confined to computers alone and is so it's more aptly now called the digital eye strain now let's see what causes this uh, when we compare with the printed text that is the letters on a typewritten or printed test page the letters on the computer screen are not uh, as sharply defined as these because mainly mainly because they are made of pixels and also there is a redu uh, reduction in the contrast with the background along with this the glare and uh, reflection of light from the computer screen and any digital device for that matter will uh, cause difficulty in focusing on them so as uh, as such even the use of a digital device is visually high, highly demanding task so along with this there are other factors which contribute to vis computer vision syndrome uh, like well, what is most important is the blink rate that is a normal blink rate is affected by the when we use when we are using a computer for continuously so uh, actually the normal blink rate will be around 12 to 15 per minute in a normal person so it is this normal blink blink which uh, actually forms the tear film over the cornea and keeps the ocular surface moist and healthy and uh, when we are using computer or any digital device for a long time this no this normal blink rate will be disrupted and uh, this it will in turn result in a dry eye and in fact it will even perpetuate it and yet another factor is the continuous overuse of the accommodating muscles of our eyes uh, especially to focus on the letters on the computer screen uh, this will in turn lead to spasm of accommodation and uh, a resultant eye strain so this will be more pronounced in persons who have a pre-existing uh, virgins problems so these are the co causes which contribute to the computer vision syndrome or the digital eye strain so now let us see who are at risk so any person who uses a mobile uh, device or a computer screen for more than two hours a day can be considered to be at risk of developing digital eye strain and now the same about the symptoms of uh, digital eye strain this would be pain redness watering blurred vision double vision headache and uh, neck pain and even generalized fatigue so and especially this will be pronounced more towards the end of your work day the popular rule to avoid computer vision syndrome is the 20 20 20 rule here what we uh, advise is while working at a computer uh, take a break of 20 seconds every 20 minutes blink for 20 times and uh, change your focus from your computer screen to a distant object at around 20 feet again uh, the next one will be uh, a that is a reg uh, comprehensive eye checkup to mainly this is to identify any uncorrected refractive errors which can contribute to the com uh, development of a digital eye strain especially when you are using computers for a long time again uh, when you are using a spectacles which is uh, uh, according to your refractive error uh, an anti refractive coating will help to prevent the glare from the computer screen and uh, prevent the computer vision syndrome and now we we'll let us see what we can do to optimize the workstation at the at a, um, that is a computer workstation to prevent computer vision syndrome so first of all maintaining an appropriate posture at the computer screen is important so you, the height of your chair should be adjusted so that the middle of the computer screen is at, at, at least 20 degrees below your eye level the same way as you are holding a book for reading and the ideal distance of the screen should be about 16 to 30 inches from your eyes and ideally the size of the text in the computer screen should be three times the size of the smallest text you will be able you can read otherwise and the screen brightness should be adjusted to match the background brightness of the room and about the lighting the lighting should be minimized to just the optimum level required and ideally it should be from the sides rather than from directly onto the screen or to your face and uh, nowadays what is uh, being more and more uh, what is being proposed is the effect of uh, deleterious effect of blue light so blue light exposure is said to increase the risk of 
macular degeneration also and recently lab studies have shown that uh, too much exposure of to blue light can cause damage to the retina but even otherwise the blue light is actually it's of shorter wavelength and, and is scattered too much and this will make focusing difficult and so that can add on to computer vision syndrome so uh, what we can do to avoid this is the use of blue light filters or uh, otherwise it's the uv filters this this can be incorporated to reduce the amount of blue light and reaching the eyes and thus protect the eye and finally about the medications for uh, computer vision syndrome the use of lubricating eye drops soothes the eyes and can alleviate the symptoms of dry eye and uh, the new preservative free eye drops which we have uh, do not have any untoward side effects and these can be used as often as required and may be continued as long as the risk of uh, digital eye strain is there. Uh, so to, to conclude, though on the rise computer vision syndrome or digital eye strain is preventable and reversible by following some simple steps, that is one is a comprehensive eye checkup to identify any unidentified refractive errors, optimizing your workstation, taking appropriate breaks in between and blinking more frequently and using preservative free lubricants.